Have you ever dreamed of creating a different process for managing your bugs? Now you can. We've listened to your feedback and we understand that different types of work go through different processes. Hello and welcome to the Atlassian Demo Den. This is a series where we take a look into what has shipped in our products recently. My name is Brian Lim and today I'm proud to announce we've reimagined the way that you can map your team's process into Jira software. Team managed project admins now have the ability to set a different workflow for each of the issue types. Let's jump into a demo. As you're following along with the example, consider how does your team treat different types of work? Let's say our team handles four different types of work, epics, stories, tasks, and books. We call these issue types in Jira. Currently, our team has defined four statuses to represent the state of an issue at a specific point in our team's process. To do, in progress, in review, and done. However, we want to ensure that all bugs are triaged by one of our teammates. So we'd like to add statuses to represent the bug triaging process. For example, bugs on our team may transition through the following statuses. Open, triage, in progress, in review, fixed. Let's walk through how to define this new workflow for bugs in Jira and map the newly created workflow onto your board. First, navigate to the workflow editor via the edit workflow button under issue types in project settings. Next, add your desired statuses. In this example, I will create the following statuses. Open, triage, and fixed. I will quickly rearrange these statuses and delete any unnecessary statuses to accurately reflect my team's bug triaging process. Apply your changes to the bug workflow. We have now created a workflow that applies only to the bug issue type. However, we're not done. We must map this new bug workflow to your board. Navigate to the board settings to correctly map your newly created statuses to the appropriate columns. Simply drag and drop the newly created statuses to the appropriate columns. Rank your statuses that come first in your team's workflow at the top. After you save your changes, notice that drop zones on the board will help inform your teammates of available transitions and statuses per each issue. As you can see, we've given you the power to define specific processes in Jira. We made it easy for you to set a different workflow for each of your issue types and map those workflows to your board. I'll leave you with two pro tips. Number one, start simple. Set a different workflow for one of your issue types, then iterate with your team going forward. Number two, as you set a different workflow for your issue types, make sure you take the time to map your newly created statuses to the correct columns on your board in order to keep your board tidy. That's all for today. Please leave your feedback in the comments below. And thank you for tuning in to this edition of Atlassian Demo Den. See you next time.